Hello guys, Almatraz here, just coming at you with another video. This video is going to be a few fixes for this original bot tutorial. Uh, I know that some people have been having problems. I've got feedback saying that it's worked absolutely fine from some people, so I'm glad to hear it's working fine for some of you, and other people are getting some problems. So I'm just going to be scrolling through these comments and looking through all of the, uh, the questions that I'm being asked and just try to answer them and f uh, tell you the fixes for them. Okay, so the first question is from this guy three hours ago, Steam Hawk. And uh, I don't know if that's supposed to be a joke or he's actually just saying a Steam, I don't know. Uh, at the page where you get the Steam API, it asks for the name, domain name. What should I write there? Okay, so what you should do is if you're hosting locally, this is the website you go to to get the API key, by the way, in case you didn't know that, steamcommunity.com so forward slash dev forward slash API key. So uh, if you're hosting it from your own computer, you would type in your public IP. I'm going to assume that you would type in your public IP. That's the only, yes, you, you would type in your public IP there. And if you're hosting DigitalOcean, you would type in your server's IP address. So if I just make one up, blah, blah, blah. Agree, register. And uh, I, I believe that that's the way to do it. Someone can correct me if I'm wrong, but I am almost 100% sure that that will work fine. Okay, so this guy, uh, I actually was lazy in replying to him a little bit. Uh, he was asking about, I think that this kind of went away. I'm not sure what that is there, uh, but I think that he never brought that back up again, so I assume he got it fixed. Okay, so it turns on and off all the time, doesn't work properly, can you help please? Okay, so this is your bot turning on and off, being dodgy. This is to do with forever, so... I find the commands for it and you guys can see them here. I'll put these in the description down below as well. Start your bot using forever. Start min up time 1000, spin sleep time 1000, index JS. Change these values to whatever you would like in milliseconds. Okay, so this guy, Mads Rosengren. Okay. Uh, maybe that's like someone famous and I'm just being stupid. I have no idea. But I don't get. I don't get it in my MA file that's secret, like what is what I just get one long code. I'm not sure what this guy's saying. Um, honestly, it's it's probably just an issue with how you've set up the desktop authenticator. Maybe you just haven't set it up right. Um, but 100% it will be in there if you've set it up correctly. Yeah, and here's another thing. I typed in my name on the admin section on the original tutorial. That should be your Steam64. That shouldn't be your name. I'm not quite sure where I got type it in your name from. I don't know why I would do that because you can have like a hundred people with the same name and even if it was username, I didn't type in my username, I just typed in Albatross, but that was just my mistake, sorry. Okay, so this doesn't work because you need you don't need to start the index of JS, you need to start the button. I don't know if he's being sarcastic here. I mean it's definitely the index JS you start. Thank you, very helpful. Okay, so this error is not welcoming people to the trade bot and not inviting them to the group so this is all just to do with the config i remember i did have this issue this is all just checking through this and making 100 percent sure that there's no errors in this because for some reason when i did this before it seemed to uh if you had like one slight error it would affect multiple things in this so i know that you definitely if i can give examples here with this people that can sell you need to take this second one out if you're not going to have a second one you can't have that in examples like that um you just need to make sure like all brackets are closed commas are there anything that seems to be messed up and this seems to affect multiple things you just need to check through your config loads of times and check that everything is definitely right okay so i find this one everything is good so we can look at his Little bot plus rep fast bot. He's up and going because of my video. I love seeing people like this that actually like you know make their stuff and make it really well. That's actually really really good. I like that. Well done, dude. Back on to the video, and here's another guy's bot. He's going good. Look at him. Look at this. Good good good. Okay, so this guy had asked a question. Pixel, the bot runs so bad when I run it from a server, it crashes after one messages. Uh, after one message, sorry, when it runs on my computer, runs from my computer, it works perfectly well. Um, okay, so I wasn't actually sure about this. I think I actually got the same issue. Once again, it was something to do with the config.js. But this guy, Matteo, 
Matteo Pulito, he found a uh, he found a solution for this on here. So apparently, some people are finding that it works fine with the ten ten dollar version, not the five dollar version. To be honest, I I mean I've used the five dollar version and I have not a problem with it. I you know I don't want you guys spending like more money than you have to on this uh, on this project. Ten dollars a month, you're probably not even gonna make that back. Well. I mean, depending on how popular a bot is, you might not even make that back. Uh, if you spent the ten dollars a month, five dollars a month, it's easier to make back on the bot if you're just having it running all the time. Apparently, if it's not working, you can always try out the ten dollar version and see if it works. But honestly, I I don't even recommend it because mine works fine. It's probably a problem with the config.js, but for some people, for this guy, it worked. You can try it out if your bot is crashing, and of course. Where do you get the cards from? I didn't go over that. So at the end of this video, I'll go over that. Everyone accessible to the sale. Um, this wouldn't be easy to do so, I don't think. I, I certainly just don't have the confidence to go in and start changing the code to make that possible. I'm sorry. But if you have coding knowledge, then you can do that. Okay, so this has already been answered by this uh, meme caster guy. Thank you. Uh, so kind of find module Steam user. Just npm install Steam user. Uh, you know, easy enough fix. If it comes up, can't find module Steam user, you just install it, and that's all good. Mm. Oh, and here's another one about how to get the cards. Okay, so now let's get on to the selling of cards, or no, the obtaining of the cards for the bot. Okay, so what I used to do was, well, actually, whenever I was, whenever I was doing this, I think the rate was, the rate was like 15 to 1, and now I, I've left it for like a few weeks since it's gone like 27 to 1, 25 to 1, that's like insane. Um, hold on a second. I have like thousands of cards. Did the... Oh, never mind, the price went down. I was getting excited there. I thought the price had gone up. No, the price has gone down, that's a bit sad. I thought I made a load of money there by holding on to them, but I bought them the worst time. Okay, so, I would just go through, check everyone's selling price. And there are going to be bots on here that the owner has gone to sleep, they haven't checked the prices, and they haven't updated them, or whatever. They're going to be cheaper to buy than the other ones. So I would tend to go for, like, say that everyone was selling them at 27 to 1. And this guy was selling at 28 to 1. So, you know, depending on how big his bot is... If he has like several thousand cards, I would just go and buy several thousand cards. And it's I know that it's only um This is the first method by the way. I know that there's only um one set profit, like per twenty eight sold, twenty nine sold, but that'll start to add up. This is one this is a method if you want to start like getting into this straight away. This is also a great subreddit for advertising your bot on, so if you're looking for ways to advertise your bot, you can always just post your bot on here and you will get trades. Another quick tip, I find that I used to uh, put my price uh, more expensive than what the going rate was. So if the going rate was 15 to 1, I would charge 14 to 1. And I actually got quite an amount of sales, even though the price is more expensive than the normal going rate. I'm not quite sure why that is, but that's just a quick tip if you want to make more money. Okay, so there'll be uh, there'll be things on here saying looking for supplier twenty nine to one. Okay, so you can make one of these posts and you can put your rate up and you can say looking for supplier twenty nine to one. Contact me and I'll give you good deals. So I I'm not quite sure why people would want to supply to someone. I I don't I don't really know where they'd be getting the cards from. To be honest, I th I think one guy offered. He offered to supply to me like on a regular basis, but like it wasn't the rate that I wanted. But if you if you set up a thing there, then you can find suppliers easily, probably if you spam the subreddit enough. Otherwise, just keep going with my method. The profit will add up. Otherwise, just try and find a supplier. Okay guys, so I hope this has helped a little bit with some of the errors that you've been having, and I'll see you in the next video.